we first envisioned this project, it wasn't just about making beautiful art. It was really about how can we use that art to inspire change. Be the Change is an art and activism movement, or as we call it, artivism. The idea being that we have these artists with an incredible array of talent who've created these pieces, all with the intention of shining a light on these really, really important areas of injustice. The inspiration for Be The Change came from two tzedakah boxes. The word tzedakah in Hebrew means charity, but the root of it is tzedek, which is justice. It was incredibly important to us that we collaborate with nonprofits in the space of each one of these areas that the artist has chosen. The power of artivism is in taking the idea and turning it into action. This whole notion developed about using art for social justice purposes, using art to influence advocacy. Let's find artists who see their work as critical to encouraging social change. And then let's get those artists to talk about what their message is. And let's connect that up to hoping that the people who come to see this art will then ask, okay, what can I do to work better on this issue? And we'll tell them. Most of my work is about creating social change in some aspect or creating knowledge about a topic. It can cross over language barriers and cultural barriers. It evokes feeling and that is what really creates the change. It's really important to me that my art is meaningful and expressing something that I believe strongly in and that I think people are actually going to want to hear and I could really move conversations forward and maybe have a ripple effect with the ideas. The inspiration for this project was the idea of particular outcomes that we turn bystanders into activists, that people understand and realize the power of one, their own voice. My piece is hopefully bringing a bit more attention to the need for justice and equity for the trans community, specifically trans youth of color. I think around this project, for me, it was, it was mental health and healing. I think about the challenging and surreal times that we're in that's still unfolding. My art piece, and the Be The Change project is a tree that is meant to symbolize the family tree, and it is shackled with handcuffs. It is meant to draw attention to bias in our criminal justice system. It was good to put the energy to pull on the metal and feel it bend, and it, it just felt very healing and cathartic to do that and to kind of release some of the pain into it. And hopefully it will then help someone else. There are multiple symbolisms that I'm drawing from. I'm using a lot of concrete, which is a nod to brutalism art, but it also looks a little bit like a sarcophagus. And I've created a heart. And I think that hate and discrimination reside within ourselves, within our own heart, but also that's where love resides. When I was thinking about the idea of a garden, really thinking about sanctuary spaces, that space that we can honor ourselves physically being there, but in honoring our memories of our loved one, of our trauma, of our pain, but then also of joy and happiness too. My rabbi said something really beautiful in this part of this project, and it was about the idea we're all created in God's image and that we should remember that. I see that in my trans friends and family, and I see that in the women I work with in dress, that like we're all creators of our own stories and of our own image. One of my goals in the project was to learn about how to live in balance with the earth through indigenous stories. And so I created Vital Organs to show a relationship between humans and plants. I think as artists, we're uniquely talented at observation and this piece gave me a chance to express that in a way that was available to everyone and that was amplified by my collaborators. I think the core of public art is around accessibility. The fact that it's literally out in the public. You don't have to pay an admission fees. You don't have to climb the steps of a museum. You walk on the street, you engage with a piece, you scan the QR code or you read the sign, and you are by default interacting. Art is one of the most important tools we have as a developer to create a sense of community, to create dialogue and a sense of civic engagement. 
and meaning within the community. Creating public art in a public space in a neighborhood like the Fenway area really creates this opportunity to bring people together in ways that they may not have even been looking for or expected. It takes an active hand to be able to curate these spaces and our hope is that we'll make a more diverse group of visitors comfortable and feel welcomed in the neighborhood as well as experiencing the message of the art. I'd like to see more and more people get engaged in what we're doing and get active. And I'd love to see more and more artists have a social justice component as part of their thinking. And then success really is finding ways to use that art and to reach the people who see the art in a way that gets them further involved. We're on the cusp of something really amazing. There's something unique in the partnership that's happening between Jewish and non-Jewish artists and JRs, which is so dedicated to elevating the voice and the message. I'm thrilled that while Be The Change launches here in Boston, it's going to take on a life in Cincinnati and in LA to follow. We have so much enthusiasm, so much community support rallying around this, and partners across the country and the world who've been excited to figure out how they can be a part of Being The Change.